Hey guys, my name is Charman TCG, and today welcome to another Pokemon TCG opening. And today we have finally the Guardians Rising booster box. It only took me three weeks to get, apparently. I ordered it before it came out, and it still only took me an entire three weeks. But it's here today, so no more complaining. And yes, let's go, let's get stuck into this. Oh man, I've only opened up, this is only the second booster box I've ever opened up in my lifetime. So I am pumped, I'm stoked. I am absolutely ready to go. So, without further ado, we'll start off with the left stack for today. And let's get stuck into it. So the first pack is Tapu Coco. Ah, alrighty. So Tapu Coco, let's go, there's your code. I'm just gonna like, do, do it this way. And we start off with a Sylveon EX Aqua Patch Reverse Hollow. So that's a great start. Second pack. There's your code. I'm not going to give out all the codes today. But we have a Politoed Hollow. So a two from two. Awesome. You didn't. Oh, oops. You do not know how long I've waited. How long I've waited to open this booster box. Like, holy crap. I said I won't give out all the codes, but I probably will just because that's the way I open these. We got a Metang Reverse Hollow and a Gothitelle Regular Rare. So, fourth pack is a Lycan Rock. Ugh. And we got a Drampa Reverse Hollow and a Lunala Hollow. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look for some. I'm trying to look for some. Uh, Trainers that I don't have because I'm trying to do this set. Let's go. What else? We got an Ori Corio Reverse Horror and a Sharpedo Rare. It's already getting so messy in here. Our next pack is my favorite Alolan Nine Tails. And we got Altar of the Sun Reverse Hollow and a Talon Flame Reverse Rare. I mean, a Talon Flame rare. So, so far we've got one pool. It's pretty decent. That Sylveon is, like, I already have Sylveon. I've pulled three Sylveons now, so I don't want too many. And we've got a Litwick and a Lycanroc. Lycanroc is a GX I currently do not have. So you can we'll add it to the bench. I should zoom out a bit. I did do the normal setup, I just... I want to do it this way. I need a playmat. I seriously need a playmat so I can do this properly. Next is a another lightning rock. Can we get two in a row? There's the code. And we've got a Fletchling Reverse Hollow and not much else. So we've got a Tapu Coco. There's another code for you guys. I'm only keeping a portion of the code. Oh my god. I nearly just destroyed my life. Oh my god. It's probably the worst thing I've ever done when recording a video. Besides actually making it. Mimikyu Reverse Hollow and nothing else. Hopefully that's alright for you guys. So we've got a, another Alola no Tail here. Can we get something good here? We got an Aloma Mola and a Waylord. I actually really like Waylord. Waylord is um, the Pokemon I'm, I'm going to use for one of my decks with Aquapatch and Alola Ninetales. But you didn't hear that from me, so. I'll see if it works. Alolan Geo did Reverse Hollow and not much else. Man, I love opening up a bulk amount of packs. Cause I don't, I don't really, I don't really ever do it. So I love when I get the opportunity to. 
But we've got a Terminator and a Minior Hollow. That's our second Hollow of the box. So not that bad, not that bad. We've got two GXs though from the right, from the left stack. That's your code. Is it ever gonna focus? Nope, it's just not. Oh well. When we get a Waylord GX and an Alolan Volpix reverse hollow. Awesome, awesome pulls. Um, I don't have Lycan Rock. Oh, freaking hell, man. I'm in a world of hurt right now. Because when I when I knocked that over, that wasn't good. Not at all. Next pack is a Lola Nine Tails. Let's see. I don't I didn't think I saw anything. Clefable and Terminator, and nothing else. Um, we got four more packs in this stack. And we have a Blissey Reverse Hollow, which I already have, unfortunately. Uh, Ori Corio. Ultra of the Sun, I do not have either. Awesome. Well, I have the Blissey, just not the Ori Corio. No, it's in, not the Ultra of the Sun. Lycanroc. Let's get in this bad boy. Is that code? Oh, yeah. I keep thinking I'm going to do this, the, the thing, but I'm not. Lunala, Reverse Hollow, and not much else. Guardians Rising has to be my favorite set um, I've ever opened. I've never opened so many cards in a set before. So many packs and stuff. Just love this set so much. And we get a Probo Pass and a Salandit non hollow I don't think I have a Probo Pass, so that's a solid pull. And the last pack for the, for the right stack, you're going to get this code as well. And there it is, it's not going to focus properly, and it is going to be a Sylveon Full Art! Oh my god, I don't have that card. Awesome. And a Mallow Reverse Hollow. Whew, alrighty. So, so far, we have two Hollows, three GXs, and a Full Art from this box. That's just the right side, the left side. Now we're going to get into the right side. With a Jang Mo O. And we got a Gothitel Reverse Hollow and an Oricorio Rare. Lycan Rock is, is up next. And. Either Paradise and a Hollow Comfy. I have about 40 um, Hollow Comfies, but. You go on the bench with the other holders. <sighs> Tapu Coco. Where are you? And we've got a Phantom and a Lilligant Reverse Hollow. You can see this packs everywhere now. So the Phantom Reverse Hollow. Wait, hold up a second. Just trying to see if I did something. Ah, yeah. I left the code card in the Confei pack. Alright, we've still got about roughly about 16 packs to go. So let's see if we can pull any other major pulls here. Pat Rat and a Lolan Sand Slash, which I do not have at the Pat Rat Reverse Hollow. Next is, next up is my good buddy Jang Moto again. Let's go, Jang Mo. Oh, I think I saw something. And what was it? It was a Tapu Coco GX. Another GX I do not have. And the reverse was a Politoed. Yep. That's awesome. Absolutely G'd for this set. Next is a Lycan Rock GX. Or well, not the GX, just the Lycan Rock. So far, we've done pretty good. Um, four GXs. A Glalie Reverse Hollow. And an Oricorio rare. 
So far, yeah, done pretty good. Four GXs and I've knocked my thing again, and there's like a massive rubbish pile there. Yeah, four GXs and a full art so far. Next up we have Vanillite and Solgaleo. Um, yeah. Jangmoto is up into the battle, into the fray. Oh my, oh, oops, anyways. Uh, Wailma, Reverse Holo, and Vanillox. I've got a mad stack going on here. I'm going to be very upset if I don't get something really, really good very soon. And Oricorio Garbodor. Garbodor's actually a fairly decent card. It's worth a fairly decent sum of money for a... Just a random rare. And Trash Lanch must be one of the craziest names for any attack I've ever seen. But, come on, this box has to give me something good. We got a Gudra Reverse Hollow and a Trevenant. Oh man, this box looks like it's about to let me down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs to go. I want some more pulls. I want some more pulls. Maybe if I give you the code, we'll get a good pull. Auric Corio vs. Hollow and Salazzle, man. Not looking good, man. Not looking good. I wanted a Hyper Rare or something. There's a, there's a few cards I, I definitely don't have in this set. And we get a Turtonator GX. Another GX I do not have. I think that's all the GXs I don't have now. I, oh no, wait, the only one I don't have is Tapu Lele, but I've got the Tapu Lele. Um, what do I have? I have Tapu Lele Full Art. And again, I can't seem to not be an idiot and knock my stuff over. So we next we've got the Lycan Rock. This is the first time I've ever attempted to complete a set, so it's I can see how hard this Terminator Full Art. Two in a row, two in a row, two in a row, two in a row. Let's go. Wimpod was a reverse holo. We have five packs left. Can we get something crazy? Two full art is really, really good for one box from what I've seen. Usually one full art is the way to go. Hala and a Pangoro reverse, a uh, Pangoro non holo. Rare. So we couldn't go to the three. Can we get can we get the Turtonator Hyper Rare or the Sylveon Hyper Rare to, to you know to get that get that trio get that trio going? We got another one and it's a Metagross GX. The pulls in this have actually been quite good. Two full arts and what's that? Five GXs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Oh, six GXs and two full arts. I still want a Hyper Rare though. Give me the hyper rare. Give me the hyper rare. I want the hyper rare. And um, yeah, we got a vanillish and an aqua patch. I haven't really been looking out for aqua patches. I'm gonna have to go through all of these again and look for some aqua patches there. We got a lichen rock. Ah, uh, you can have this code. I was gonna turn it around. You can't have the code, but you can have the code. I haven't been giving out the codes a lot. So, we get a Blissey Hollow and a Wishy Washy Reverse, and we have one more pack. One more pack. Can we? Oh my god, I don't think I've ever knocked over my camera so many times in one video. Our last pack is a Tappy Coco. And we're gonna do... Oh my god! We're gonna do this this one properly. So there it is the last code. Oh man, it's not gonna focus. One, two, three, four, and then five, and then two. We've got a Jigmoto, a Wimpod, a Machop, Whalmer, Stuffle, Energy. Brooklet Hill, Sligoo, Energy Lotto, 
a reverse Salazzle, and our rare is a regular rare Honch Crow. So unfortunately, I did not pull any hyper rares, but I pulled three hollows, two full arts, and six GXs. So a total of eight pulls, um, if you count the hollows, a total of 11 pulls out of 36. Not too bad, not too great. But um, yeah, I'll take it. That was my second booster box I've ever opened, and I absolutely adore opening booster boxes. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I'd love to open another booster box of Guardians Rising sometime soon, but we'll see if that ever comes to light. For now, though, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time in another video. See ya.